BTB, you family. This is John English, host and creator of Both Ties and Button Ups. And um, I'm introducing something new to BTBU, and it's going to be called Conversations with BTBU. And this is going to be where myself and or another individual comes in and talks about emotional outlets. Um, an emotional outlet is something that is um, eases psychological distress. So some of us like to cook, some of us like to bake, um, you know, write, or whatever that looks like for you, mow the lawn, clean, whatever that is, to disconnect from the world and kind of decompress, de-stress, get rid of anxiety and depression. So uh, many of you know I love photography. I'm a photographer. Um, that is my first love, my, my current love and passion, but um, it wasn't my first one. Um, my first one that I had that I actually loved the most was actually drawing. <laughs> drawing was my my first love um, and that's only because you know when you're young the first thing you do is you learn how to write with pen and stuff like that so that was something that I attached to right away but I didn't let it grow um, but my next one was poetry poetry was, was something that I took to to kind of get away from the, the stress of the world and and what we don't realize is that when we're young we're young adults or even young kids is that things do stress us out but you know, um, we don't necessarily talk about those things, but it's very critical and important that we do. We need to be a little bit more, you know, present and aware of our children, especially when they're they're young and you see those things start to happen, especially when their mood changes and they start to disconnect. It's a great time to go ahead and talk to them about, you know, what's going on and maybe see if they have an emotional outlet that they can use to communicate with you um, in a different way. It just helps. Um, and mine was poetry. You know, not a lot of people knew that, or some of my close friends did. Um, and I let them in on a couple of my poems that I have. I have a poetry book that I have that um, one day maybe it'll get published, maybe not. I don't know. Just depends on whether or not you know I'm feeling it. But um, these are going to be little segments that I have, along with the BTBU shows that I have. You know, featuring a man um, that is a professional in their craft, and we're going to talk about certain things that they use to uh, you know, help them along the way in their, in their journey, in their career. Um, so I'm going to quickly just do a poem for you um, that I wrote recently. It's not a finished poem, it's just something that I worked on um, just because I, it was time for me to kind of get it out of all the anxiety and stress that I was holding in. Um, now I'm fully aware of where it was coming from, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a peek into you know, my mind and where I was at that point. So, is the poem is named Poem, but again, it's untitled. I really don't have anything yet. So let me begin. Right. Where do I begin? This book's beginning and middle gave me the present, but far from the end. The anxiety of being a man in present society gave way to transcendence. In my head, I was alone, but no one beside me. The darkness began to take over. Caged and unaware of who I was and my weakness, I became a pushover. The cage was locked, but that's why I stayed. It became a familiar place. No one ever hurt me, but I felt betrayed. It was me. I did it to myself. All the while I sat and wallowed, breaking down my body, deteriorating my health. The face I saw, looking back in the mirror, wasn't me. I started to normalize the visual that this wasn't the man I was expected to see. There was a moment when I lifted my head, a short distance away, light was shining brightly. All I had to do was step out of the cage and forge ahead. In my weakness, I went back and forth with myself. The darkness will not win. I will no longer be afraid. It's my life, my temple. Get a hold of yourself. I stepped into the light, feeling renewed. The feeling of joy consumed me. I was free from my bondage, evolved and brand new. A transformation birthed by pain. Who would have known this would happen to me? A shell of a man shattered to pieces, and now a warrior remains. Dot, dot, dot. So pretty much it's still um, a work in progress, but um, that's what I have. And... Um, this is a great time for you to utilize those emotional outlets because of the fact that we have to do this whole social distancing thing um, where we can't be around people. But people like myself that are introverts, and um, you know, I, I actually benefit from this time because I get to be creative and explore a little bit more of myself and get to know myself. So um, definitely take advantage of those emotional outlets, whatever you have to do. Um, you like to bake, bake for your children, bake for your family for others um, that are close to you that you know that you know take care of themselves properly um, but you know if you have yard work to do get out there make your yard beautiful you know if that was something that you wanted to do now is the time to do it get great at it 
um, produce crops in the backyard, whatever you have to do um, to cope. But I'm a, a full believer in it. Um, I utilize it. I have multiple ones. As you can tell, I just told you that I used to draw. I still draw, um, just not as often. Uh, I'm not, I could have been really good, but um, you know, it's just something that I did you do back in the day to kind of cope. And um, poetry, still write. I have tons of uh, material. And of course, my photography, which, you know, um, I'm always looking for concepts to try new things and grow and just evolve as a man. But definitely, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do in this time. Um, and don't be afraid to share it. So, BTBU Conversations, this is the first one in the intro. The next one is going to be very soon with an individual that, you know, I, I feel is very talented. But I'll give you guys the details on that later. But thank you for sitting in with me. Have a great day.